Guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching this video because you're trying to figure out what an inertia switch is and how it works and why your friggin' truck won't start. Let me show you. Right now I'm in the middle of replacing an ignition switch on my Ranger that was bad, but uh, I originally assumed that the ignition switch was the reason why the fuel pump wouldn't turn on. When you turn your key to the on position, you should hear a real subtle whirring, like a whirr, and then it'll turn off. If you don't hear that whirring noise when you turn the key and you have an electronic fuel pump, or um, you have electronic fuel injection and you have an electric fuel pump, you know your fuel pump's not turning on, you know your truck's not gonna get gas, it's not gonna start. So in these Rangers, they use an inertia switch. They also use fuel pump relays, but before you go that far, check the inertia switch. These trucks are famous for having leaky wiper seals, which bring water down the firewall. And I'm gonna show you where the inertia switch is, how to check it, and uh, how to bypass it. So right here, here's the carpet. Here's for reference, there's my glove box, my uh, glove box handle coming down. Here's your carpet, pull it back. Look right there. That's the inertia switch. Now on the top, in a perfect world, this is a reset. And this reset should work. This thing's knackered. It's not gonna do anything. There's one plug, one pigtail that goes into it. Pull that plug, bring it forward, take a look at it. You can jump the inertia switch. Now, I don't recommend keeping it jumped, but this is a good way to test it. So, you take a small wire. I got one right here. This is just some old stereo wire. Just bear the two ends of it. I'm gonna twist this up. And I'm just gonna put one end of the wire in one side and one in the other. So let me put the camera down and do that real fast. That's what it looks like when it's jumped. Now basically you're just bypassing what the inertia switch does, which actually cuts fuel uh, electrical current away from the relay, which shuts off your fuel pump if you roll your truck. So make sure you get a new inertia switch, but this is what it does. It's just basically bridging those two wires together through the pigtail. Now, if I turn the ignition, you can, I don't know if you heard that with this camera, but you can hear the fuel pump cycle. I'll turn the ignition off and listen closely for a sound. You can hear the fuel pump turn on. So that right there is the culprit on why this truck won't start. So let's see if it'll start. have it inertia switch bypassed here's another quick test you can do come over here to your inertia switch bypass cars running pull it dead see how it slowly died fuel pump cut off fuel supply so in a in an in an accident scenario that would pretty much do the same thing that your inertia, inertia switch would do. It would shut your engine down and it would stop the fuel pump from pumping fuel out of the gas tank all over the place, uh, causing a fire. So if you guys like this video, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are having problems or start problems with your trucks or cars and want to start up a discussion, go ahead and pipe them down below and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. I'll also put links to a pretty nice uh, inertia switch that I found on Amazon that's only 20 bucks. You can add one to your car if it doesn't have one, or you can replace one of these expensive ones with a universal one. Anything's better than keeping it bypassed. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get you in the next video. Later. Okay, bonus clip for sticking to the end. Just wanted to show you that it is running. It's on the road. I just washed it. So thumbs up if you guys like old Rangers. And definitely thumbs up if you appreciate uh, videos where you see the whole process, see things broken, and then see things getting fixed again, because that's the kind of videos I like. So uh, yeah, I'll do a little look around of the old Danger Ranger. You see how nice the paint, the paint is awesome on this truck. It's one of the reasons why I bought it. Look at the paint from the side. It's like a mirror. Pretty crazy. It's a good cheap paint job, that's for sure. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Catch you on the next video.